do with cotton. And, and also for the prints, the, the idea as well, when I was looking at uh, Pakistan and looking at the materials that they have their available fabrics, I, I was looking at the culture. Hey, uh, and I went deep to the Kashmir culture and I saw that they are very, it's a very popular culture the way they have the Kashmir motifs. I said, okay, maybe I'm going to do the, the, the clothes as well with some Kashmir prints motifs, you know, for the... <laughs> So that's that's why it's very beautiful and i feel like when you're looking at it um you don't necessarily see until you come very close the detail of the print yeah which is very beautiful okay. and the audience is saying you're wearing it very well isabel <laughs> <laughs> she's yeah. a good she's the official uh, cosmo collaborative model yes <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, so um, why don't we go ahead and start, um, you know, the production fitting okay. with this jumpsuit. Mm -hmm. And so um, with the fitting, we want to have, you know, certain supplies available, like pins, chalk, a seam ripper, snippers, needle and thread, scissors or shears, and a tape measure. So. I will give one to you, Jasmine. Yeah. <laughs> and, and yes, measures as well. You can never have enough. Isabel brought one as well. Thank you, Isabel. And so the first thing is really the designer just looking at the garment on the fit model, looking at the general, the general look, and seeing if anything stands out that you feel might need a little correction. First, I would ask uh, Isabel how oh, she's feeling. Does you feel comfortable wearing it? How do you feel when you express your I mean, yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. When I do it. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a first note about the, as we call it, a really, uh, but having like the perfect crotch in a pants is really important, especially in a jump. So I'm going to make a note um, with, the, with the production fitting, one should always take a pattern before it moves to production. So Jasminia is taking notes to what I would recommend is releasing the crotch mm -hmm. at least a half an inch. Mm -hmm. And we can defer back to um, the production team about that specifically, mm -hmm. but we know the crotch is a little tight, so it needs to be released. How is the shoulder? Does it feel pretty good? Yes, does it feel nice. Mm -hmm. Not too tight, a, a little, little tight. Yes. Yeah. So then, it's a little, little, little. Like, um, you can feel the the thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So because so this is um this is coming in a little tight on this collarbone decollete decolletage area, um we could release it. This is um, the designer's decision. Um, we could release it, we could adjust this and lower it. We could do any number of things. So Jasmine, what are you thinking? Are we yeah. thinking more lower or release or just or both? Yeah, because I want the, the both neckline style. Mm. Yes, it's going to put it a, a little lower. As long as we don't lose the neckline. Right. So it's like we want to drop the mm -hmm. bow neckline, but keep it. And so using our tape measure, we can oh, want to drop it. Mm -hmm. Do you think dropping it an inch is too much? Half an inch? Okay. So and so could you turn around facing the wall? Thank you. 
And so in the back, we have a beautiful drop down to here. And so what do you think about the back? You wanted it to be super tight, which maybe you don't. Mm -hmm. I think like the womb. Yes. Yeah. Maybe. Mm. I'm sorry. No, just, yeah. just a little, it's a little tight. So, so what I recommend is releasing at the hip. And do you want it to be? Just a little no, bit. Just a little bit. I would recommend, which is not enough, we could do quarter quarter to make it a half. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Half. Yeah. Okay. So then, uh, just quarter. Quarter, so a half an inch total. And then, okay. What about things like the length? Do you want to turn around for us, Mrs. Isabel? Length is So I think we're good to leave. That looks great. Pocket, uh, the hands in the pocket. It's like, it's too hot. Is it too hot? Is the back you too deeper? You want yeah. deeper? No, deeper. Mm. It's like you, you have to move your hands to put the. Oh, she wants okay, to yeah. to the up front more. You see? You see? You have to, you have to move a lot. The, mm -hmm. You see? Out. It's not like, so yeah, it would be easy if it was a bit more hmm. open. Do you mind if I? <laughs> so right now this is an inseam pocket. Mm -hmm. And so there's options. If you want to move the pocket forward, you could do that. Um, if you want to open this more, so there's more room for your hand, you could do that. I think more open more because I like the inseam option. Uh huh. So, you feel comfortable when you put the hands in pocket? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We could open the pocket mm -hmm. an inch or an inch and a half more just so you have more space to get in there. And so it's not too tight. Yes. But what's good is that the pocket bag seems okay. Mm -hmm. Because in a fitting, you could always make the pocket back small, bigger. You could do a lot of things. Yeah. Okay. And then, what about um? How do you feel the armpits? Mm -hmm. No, it's uh, it feels nice. It's not too tight. No. no, no okay. No, no. Okay. Yeah. That's good. So you've got a good armhole. Mm -hmm. And then we like the where the um, seam at the center front gets, right? Yeah. I think when you release the coach, it's going to be a bit lower also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really, it's just minor things, right? Yes. You look nice. <laughs> <laughs> it feels nice. <laughs> okay. okay, great. So you think we're in good shape with yes. the jumpsuit? What um is the what do you think? <laughs> Angelique, we'd love your feedback on on the on the fit comments that we've sure. Made. <laughs> yes, I was letting you guys do your thing. I just comment, yeah, there's so many little details to go over so you get that perfect fit. So I always also like to ask my fit models to sit in the garment because you know we spread as we sit to make sure that there's enough ease in the garment and see how we feel. So we'll get your feedback, Isabel, when you sit. How is it? yeah, so the crotch is pulling a little bit. 
Can you cross your legs? Can you Right. You look fabulous, though. Looks very chic. <laughs> she looks very chic, right? <laughs> also, I was looking. Let's look under the armhole. How's that opening? Is it wide enough? Comfortable? So you feel comfortable, yes? Oh, with this, yes. Yeah, it's feel good? Yes. Yeah, so that's okay. good. No, it's okay. Okay, great. Only the neckline, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so the neckline, I heard oh, you say you're going to lower you can feel the it. neckline on the white part, but keep the printed part the same proportion. Correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be, yeah. So you could um, put a little pin or a mark in the center front of how far down you want that to start at. So you would make that note or measure it and make the note. So we had said an inch, I believe. How can she have So we'll just take our tape measure. And we're gonna mark half an inch down is where the top of the seam will be now. So we're dropping everything half an okay. inch. So it should release it a bit and not make it so high and tight. Yeah. Right. Okay, great. And then um, did we... Did we do the pants part yet with the length? I know I heard you talking about open, extending the opening of the pocket and dropping the crotch. And then how about the length? Is that good? Length is good. Mm -hmm. We love the length. Okay, great. Yeah, it looks nice. Really good. Yeah. I think it looks great. And so now that we've um, discussed the fitting notes that need to be passed down to the production or the factory, um, they're just organized uh, in a document and those are shared with the factory so they know what changes to make. Right. And when there's and so we'll minor just do one changes, last... sorry, go ahead. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Anthony. Complete. Oh, I was just gonna say, and then we'll we're we're we're, belt, we're belting the jumpsuit, so we're gonna take one last look at it before we move on. And what's great is that after you take all your fit comments, to take a picture, front, side, back, side, so that you can send those to the factory. So um, what I'll have you do. You can just yep, face straight at me, and then I'll be your front picture. And does mean you can take pictures full length, front, and then let her know when you're ready. Side, back, and other side. Gotcha, perfect. So now we can move on to the next garment. And you're like trained to be a fit model. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. I, does anyone have any questions they would like to ask at this point with this garment? You want to come over here and do it? Because it's all. If you want to step here. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions Angelique, regarding have, the fitting of the jumpsuit? I have a question, Angelique, can you hear me? Yes. So the, this fit model process, is that how stores come up with size small, medium, large, or is this a custom fit? Is so this no, this is how stores come up with, or designers come up with their fitting model. So every manufacturer, every designer has their size standards, right? So that's why it drives us ladies crazy, right? But we know the brands that fit our body type. So each brand is built around a certain body type and fit. 
So that's why we can go to one label and we'll wear a medium and we go to another label and we wear a small. It all depends on that manufacturer's fit model type. And so how do brands come up with small, medium, large? Is that is that standard industry sizing or? There's no standard. <laughs> there, you know, there's a guideline, but there's no set rule. So each designer or manufacturer has to come up with what their small is, what their medium is, what their large is. So that's why it kind of drives, you know, some of us industry people crazy when it says, oh, fits true to size. They're like, yeah, what does that mean? So, you know, everybody tends to stay in like a certain bubble of what a small is, but you can see it vary from, you know, half inch to two inches. So it really depends. It's best to get to know your, that brand that you love and see the size that fits you well in that brand because they're going to be using the same measurements all the time for their small the same measurements all the time for their medium and so on and so on. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Oh, one more question. For sure. tall, do they change the size to accommodate tall? Cause I, I'm a size between two and four. And so my waist doesn't change, just my length changes. And I feel like when I, in order to accommodate my length I have to go up in size and, and like that doesn't work. So again, it depends on that brand. So let's say for that brand, their fit model, they use somebody who's 5'8". So everybody who's 5'5", five, five, five is going to always have to shorten uh, pants on that thing. And then another brand, their fit model, they may go for a height of like 5'9". So somewhere between five, seven and five, nine is where brands kind of tend to use as a height. And then some brands do offer tall. Uh, you'll see that in now in a lot of in jeans company. So you could buy your size, like size four tall or a size four short or a, reg a size four regular. But a lot of brands just kind of like middle ground it and whoever's shorter or taller unfortunately for us taller people um it's always a challenge is there a brand that you could think of margo that you can go to and you always get your length that you need for your height not really because i'm so small so i i am i tend to shop thrift right because i find and the higher end clothing has a hem so the cheaper, like fast fashion, when I'm really trying not to buy anymore, they have no such thing as a hem. No. So you can never, if you buy it and look underneath them, there's no hem. But the more expensive brands, um, like Ellie Tahari or, you know, the ones I find in thrift and uh, sometimes on ThreadUp or Poshmark, they have, a, they have nice, nice hems that you can take out and it always meets my need. Right. They have a, a two inch but hem. you brought up a good point. So in fast fashion... They're going to use a fit model that's on the shorter end. They're going to like, there is not made for anybody over five, seven and the better brands, cause the more fabric is the more expensive it is. It's going to use maybe a fit model that's five, eight. And then they're going to give a generous hem in there to cover somebody who's maybe six feet. So the higher end brands tend to have more of a flexibility for hem and things. So Veronica is also uh, saying that Lafayette 148 does, um, I think, offers a, a, a longer length. Is that what you're saying, Miss Veronica? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Six feet women I know, like Audrey Smaltz, they shop at Lafayette. Yes. So definitely the better brands tend to do that, right? Because we can always make it shorter, but we can't make it longer if the fabric isn't there. Exactly. exactly. But the better brands will give you that extra fabric in there. That's always a challenge, right? Thank you, Angelique. I learned so much with you. And I know I see that smile on your face when you saw the jumpsuit. Your eyes just lit up. You know, I love a jumpsuit. So I was like, oh, the first one is a jumpsuit. Your eyes just lit up. 
Yes. So I'll be as soon as it hits the market, I'll be placing my order. Excited for this. This is very exciting. Is that the first one? I'm sorry. I'm I came a little late. I was using that. <laughs> <laughs> is that yeah. the first look? The first, yeah, the first look was the jumpsuit. Okay, I'm excited. It looks yes. really great. Miss T, what type of fabric she's using? I think, did she cover that? I know we asked about the fabric. I know she's using, I think she sourced it from in Pakistan. We'll have to ask her that again. It's cotton. Okay. So, uh, Jasmine, say that again for everybody. Cotton. Uh, is it possible to make it uh, full screen? GDS uh, screen. Yeah. Can we make it uh, full screen so that uh, we can? Uh... I don't think so. Oh, yeah. No. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's pretty, that's pretty better. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Angelique, so much. So now we're going to pass it to um, Desmina to talk about the second look and any sort of adjustments yeah. for this top and bottom. The second look actually is two official looks. We have the excuse me. We have the the trouser here. In front now. The trouser with the pockets on the side, we have the side print. In the back, we have a pockets, but not not the open. We have just a small uh, print uh, just for decoration. Uh -huh. And then yeah, pockets and we have the what you call the string. Yeah, yeah, just just thing. On those. So this is more kind of um, crappy, capri size. Mm. And uh, what we see here on the hips, we might need to release a bit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So let's start, let's start there. Um, so the hips feel a little bit tight, right? Yeah. So it seems like we should you can see the pockets are like opening. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a great sign if you're in a fitting. Mm -hmm. Could you face this well? If you see the pockets sort of open a bit, mm -hmm. that's a for sure sign that the pants are a little tight because mm -hmm. you really want it to kind of be seamless. So let's make a note that we want to release at the hip. Mm -hmm. And then how do you like the um, fit down here? Does this seem okay to you? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to release all the way. No. Yeah. We just want to release in this section. Yes. So from the top of the waist to there's high hip and then there's low hip. Low hip is down here. And so I would recommend opening it to a couple inches past the low hip. Mm -hmm. Or even, even low, yeah, yeah, yeah even for, like you like it down here, but maybe up here yeah, is still yeah. too tight, right? Yeah. So would you release maybe to here? Knees length, yeah. So that's about 20 inches down mm -hmm. from, from the waist. Yeah. Let me just, can you turn a bit so we just want to see? Mm, I think maybe, yeah, we also, yeah. I think maybe we just release all. If there's someone with a bigger- Then it would fit them as well. Be, yeah, uh -huh. so I think we'll release all. Okay, and do you want to do something like a quarter and a quarter, so it's a full inch release? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. so we just release all the way down. So for the fit note, we're going to release at the side seam from the top of the waist all the way down to the hem, a quarter of an inch and a quarter of an inch, which makes a half an inch increase on each side. That'll also help with this pocket tightness. Mm -hmm. It's coming. And then um, what about the crotch? Does it feel tight like the first pair? It's a crotch. It's pretty tight. Nope. There, right? If you see it, maybe. <laughs> see? Yeah. The, the, the test is always. Yes. Press the letters. Yeah. So as we 
So, Anthony, we're having a little trouble hearing you. So, we could see something. I think we lost them for a second. The bandwidth, so we have some technical difficulties. Okay, here he is back. Sorry about that. I think we lost the connection. Yeah, I was yeah, having I was having I was hearing you and then we lost you. Did I lose them again? You can see us, correct? Um no. You see you. Uh, Can you spotlight us? Okay, now, now I got you. Got gotcha. you. Okay, great. So now that we're back, we were just discussing um, the pants and the waist, and um, increasing the center back waist mm -hmm. to go up, so that when Isabel sits down, it doesn't come down when she's seated. So. I would say an inch and a half. Yeah, one inch and a half. Yeah, and a half. Mm -hmm. See, so what Anthony's doing is suggesting a, a inch and a half rise to the seat. Uh huh. Yes. To yeah. fill in that gap there, and then when she sits, the pants doesn't waistline doesn't roll so far down. Yep. And then pockets seem okay? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then are they, will you eventually open them or are they meant to stay closed? Just meant to stay closed. Because yeah. I, I, yeah. I just wonder, so they have pocket bags, right? Mm -hmm. And so that means- You can unseem it. You can't yeah, as you can see if you want, yeah. But if you want it to be fake pockets and not have the line, of the pocket bag, you could take them out mm -hmm. and then you wouldn't have this. Yeah. So just something to consider. Mm -hmm. So you want to keep the pocket bag? So you want to take the pocket we, bag? We, we're going to have the fake one, fake button. And the pocket also, the pocket yeah. bag is going to be the mm. okay. okay. Anything else with the pants? Yeah, I think the height is okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I can say no. Yeah, looks good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what right. about the drawstring in the front? Is it long enough? Because I was trying to see. Yeah. Okay. Can you tie it? Yeah. That work? <laughs> Up to the design. Okay. We... Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. All these are up to Jasmine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, mm. they're gonna have like little things at the end of it, so that way it won't go in when you wash it. Or am I dry cleaning this? Because well, yeah, yeah. You mm -hmm. About is like cord locks. Always happens to me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like gym shorts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and you gotta get a hanger or something. Yes. To take it. <laughs> okay, so um, let's talk about the top now. And so this top is really unique because this like boat neck um, accent is um, not symmetrical. It's not like meant to be in the center. It's meant to be like off right off to one side right so could you turn thank you and also this pleat detail that traditionally in shirting is in the center back is also so it's to one side and it's a design choice it's on purpose so unique all right cute yeah 
And also, Jasmini was saying that the collars, I'm sorry, the cups can be rolled to show the accent fabric. Show the buttons when I sleep. You want, yeah, the things. <laughs> so you can keep it white, you can roll it up. And then there's really cool accent buttons on the top of the sleeve, which are really pretty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are those buttons? So that's just taking you... some um, detail photos. Yeah. These are yeah. buttons. Okay, cool. They're really nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So it could be even more slouchy. Ah, you get sexy here. Okay. Jasmine, <laughs> we see where you are. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <Ooh. laughs> all right. Like this way. Jasmine, I want this, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Jasmine, if you have any um, comments, you want anything? For someone that doesn't want to show the, the cold shoulder, uh -huh. you can just, you know, put in the middle and you have it in the middle, you know? If you'd want to have the side. Nice. Yeah, you can just put in the middle, yeah. So whatever you're feeling that day, you yes. can do Yeah, it. <laughs> whatever you're feeling. So here, what I was thinking, I just wanted to know from Isabel first. Do you feel um, this size here? The space is enough. It's enough. It's is enough. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. And this side, yeah. Well, I'm here. And this side here. Let's have it tight there. Ali. Yeah. Just like it. A bit tight, yeah? No. No, yeah. no, no, no it's okay. No. Depends on no. the way the mm -hmm. position, when you put the balls easier. Okay. Here, I was just thinking more in terms of, you see uh, here, just see a bit more fabric, maybe this. You have a question about the size and what the collection Yeah, would be, yeah. But this just to take a bit more. So you're considering taking a bit out? Just a bit more. But again, I want this to continue loose, yes? Mm -hmm. loose. But I think just seems to have a lot of uh, fabric. I don't know what you... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want it to be relaxed, but you don't want it to be too bad. Yeah, because I think, right? she, for example, she drops here. You see, you see a lot of fabrics uh -huh. here. Yeah, you see what I mean? Yeah. If she drops, you see a lot of fabrics here. If you want, if she drops, it's just not quite as much. Yeah, still, you still lose bodies, the space, but with the, not so much fabrics. Yeah. But to do this, you just have to experiment. You just have yeah. to kind of try again. It just takes like a delicate hand because you don't want to force the fabric to do something it doesn't want to do. Yeah. But we can try that and see. your hand down on. I think this is the area yeah. where it's getting a lot of extra fabric here, mm -hmm. right? I think it's here in the in the palm hole. Uh -huh. Maybe it goes a bit more inside. Yes. Yeah. Let's, let's yeah. try. It goes a bit more. The curve, uh -huh. there's a bit curve and then continue. We're just trying a couple of different things to see which one is going to give us the result we want. Go here and go up. Go up more? Yeah, no, lower. Okay. Yeah. Like that? 
Maybe I put it on tools there. Okay. I think that option is better. <laughs> this one? Yeah, I think so. You still you see here? Mm -hmm. You still have all these. Mm -hmm. So because there's not a seam here, mm -hmm. you're dealing with this whole panel. Yeah. So if you're worried about extra fabric in here, you have to take it from here. Mm. Proper armhole, you know. And there's no dart. Mm -hmm. Angelique, do you have any advice for us as we're troubleshooting how to get rid of some of this excess fabric and there's no dart or on right. seam? Because there's no dart, that's where it's almost naturally that excess of where dart would be. Um, turn to a little bit more to the side for me. Let me see that. Uh, yeah. So there's a couple of options. Um, you could put a little ease right there under the armhole where it's fitting, where you kind of just ease in maybe like an inch or an inch and a half where you kind of just slight gather. So it would form like a little cupping around the breast instead of folding with excess fabric. Um, Let me see there. Because if you don't want to add a dart, yeah, you're going to have to remove some of the excess fabric, or you're going to have to ease it in. Right. So I think I think in this instance, mm -hmm. what we should do is we should take some photo. Yeah. And we should Amar. So yeah, in this instance, in a fitting where we're not too sure what the best solution might be, I would probably open up the seam and try a couple different ways and put it back on the model or on a mannequin to see which is going to give the best results. So sometimes that's what it takes, right? Yep, exactly. Yep. And then just pointing out the pointing out the areas that are a little yeah, I would not photograph there. that, and then once you Try it a couple different ways. You can compare it and see which is the best way for you, which gives you the best look. Yeah. And just as um, Angelique well knows, the fitting journey is really a process. It's like trial and error. This is why we do it you know to, to yes. get it right before you produce it yes so sometimes it's it's worth it sometimes fitting sometimes you'll some garments it is a really tough and you could do 10 different fittings you know trying different ways just to get it right because you want to do that before you go into production yeah and usually that's why designers plan so far ahead because every single piece in the collection has to be fitted and refitted before it goes into production. And also, even sometimes you go back to the, the drawing board and you redesign it and come up with a different way. And how do you feel here? When this is on the side, how does it like a lead pipe as well? Yeah, yeah, the neckline, yeah, 
Yeah, it does feel like it's, it does feel a little tight there. Is it laying down or is it too high? So it just feels like it's a little constraining. Yeah. So I think it may be released a little bit. Mm -hmm. So the note that I would suggest is release the boat neck. It's a little too tight. Yeah. But I don't I don't know if you want to drop it because you like mm -hmm. you like where it's hitting, right? Maybe yeah. you just need to release, yeah. let it out a little. So that it's not tight here on the neck. Those are easy changes for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I love the one. Yeah. We're just reviewing the length, which Desmina likes. So now we're doing our fitting photos. We did back, now we did side, now we're gonna do front. Other way, other way. <laughs> Simon says. <laughs> yeah, side and then face us now. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Great. Thank Thank you. Because <laughs> you go close, so yeah, you can get the, to the um, yeah. That's for you, but not for yeah. me. <laughs> we have to get all the Thank photos. Yeah. yeah. The photos are important. They're a good reference point. You can make, uh, you print them out, you make notes on them. So as much communication as possible that you can give the factory on what adjustments to make to the patterns is helpful. I think we may have lost them again. Okay, here you're back. Yeah, we have two cameras here. So now we're in the um, changing into a third look. And I just want to share some of the comments. Um, great model. Nice. When can I call you when this is over to order it? <laughs> great feedback. Yeah, and so they were asking what sizes will this collection come in? So that's a question. Any questions about the fitting process mm -hmm. and anything that we've talked about? that I can answer while our fit model is changing. Anthony, I have a quick question. You said that when the pockets are not, when the pants don't fit properly, the pockets kind of poke out. How, how can you fix that? I have a few pants that the pockets open up. Um, how, how would you recommend fixing that? <laughs> so I don't know if I should. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it back because we're now ready with our next look. So just quickly, Margo, well, so that means you don't have enough room in the hip. So you, I suggest up a size and then have it tailored at the waist. Yes. Um, Thank you. No problem. For well, this dress, like I said, these days you can use both ways. You can use the, the side. We're not seeing you. Hold on. OK. This. Okay. Can they see? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, for this dress, um, like I said before, we have two options. You can use the front, this this side here, or the back side can become also the front side. You know, we can turn. Yeah, that's why when we did that, there's some easy, easy and flexible. You just can turn around if you want, mm -hmm. depending on the side that you like most. It's two dresses in one. Could yes, you use one. the dress as a jacket? to the pants set 
Or to the jumper? I mean, you, you do whatever you, you want. Okay, so I'm, <laughs> yeah. no, I'm buying yeah. two to three pieces. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make it big girl size, okay? <laughs> and the paint you see is a bit different from the other paints because during the production for the, the, for the sample, the, we ran out of the print. So we, had, we just used something similar to that just to show how it would look. So, and we, I'm still thinking in terms of if I keep the buttons or if I, I take it off, so. <laughs> okay. Again, the, the, it is meant to be loose, feel loose as well. And if you want, uh, we were discussing with Amma last week. If you want, we are going to also do a belt in case that you want to use with the belt as well. So in case that we have to use the belt, it would look too much to have the belt and then the, the, the button. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm thinking. Nice, I love that you can turn it around and it's like BP or yeah, front. The, the, oh, oh yeah. So it depends which one you said to wear. Can you move around this way? Yes. Can you easily move in the truck? Mm -hmm. Is it easy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Yep. Your seat test. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you cross the legs? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Nice. I really like the asymmetric hem detail. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I do like that detail. Okay, nice on you. <laughs> Is that real? So, Jasmina, mm -hmm. you were saying you weren't sure if you were going to keep the buttons or not. Yes, I was just thinking, um, if, for example, if we have the buttons and then we have, for example, the belt for people that want to make it like to use the belt as well, right. if it won't look like, like there's so, the belt, there's the button, there is. Right, I agree. I agree. I don't think it needs the buttons. I see Miss Veronica also says no buttons. Yeah. And I think when you wear the, if you wear that V to the back, and then you're sitting and the buttons are there that might, you might feel it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. We want to maybe go into see how it looks here. And it'll lower your cost we... of the dress. Sure. Sorry? It will lower your cost of the dress with no buttons. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're just decorative, right? They're just decorative, okay. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, Jasmine, do you have any, you know, things that you feel like you want to adjust? Mm, I don't think so because I mean, it is meant to be loose, you know. Right. Loose and... So right now it's hitting just here. Okay. So we all want to see what it would look like if the V is to the back. Can can Isabel, can you go off camera and yeah, turn it around? <laughs> Hopefully. Miss T, can you ask her to put the jacket on too? That blue, is she gonna fit that jacket too? Over it? No, we are at 315. So you know, we'll have to wrap it up. Is, is it all a set, Angelique, or is just they're part well, of? Well, it's all a collection, so okay. you know, it has different pieces, and the buyer or the wearer can mix and match them and do what they want. Perfect. What did she say the going price was for? It? She didn't say yet. So you know, things like this when we're talking about keep the buttons, remove the buttons. So you know, you'll have to do a final costing based on your adjustments that you do in the fitting. Angelique, how do you cost it by time and material? 
Do you add anything else? All of the above. <laughs> the material, the time, um, if anything has to be outsourced, just all the steps that it would take. I was like, you get your pictures as well. <laughs> I think, yeah, no, for them to see, just, yeah. And you can turn the, yeah, you can turn. Okay, great. Nice. Turn around again for us so we can see now how the back looks with that. Yeah. <laughs> no more supermodel. Nice. A lot of wait. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The back. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you buy and then you just do whatever. <laughs> you use the whatever. I like the you want. in the back. I like <laughs> that. Um. You know, I like a dress that has a good exit. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. I feel like that's a good designer too, Angelique, that's giving you two dresses for the price of one. Yes. So it's pretty unanimous here. Everybody's saying no buttons, doesn't need it. But thank you for that. <laughs> Thanks. That's very valuable information. Look, um, Jasmine, you have your own focus group for your collection, which is so super cool, right? Yeah. So. And this doesn't feel too tight. Will this come in colors? Yeah. Mm, for now, it won't be only the white one. It's okay. paint, and then there we you, see. You yeah. do colors, okay? Because you can see this in colors. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, for the dress, I don't see beside the buttons, and mm -hmm. because, like I said, I want it loose. Mm -hmm. I, I don't see how do you feel underneath. I see it, you can see it, right? But you know, it doesn't fit. You, you can see it, but you don't feel it. Mm -hmm. Beside here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you stand straight for a Yeah, it is. I would say yes to release really the hip. Yeah, just to release the uh -huh. feet. Yeah. You want to do quarter quarter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So release at high hip, quarter quarter from each side. Mm -hmm. That will just remove this. You know how the fabric is going yeah. a little tight? Yeah. It'll just release it a little bit. Mm -hmm. But not too much. It won't change yes. the shape. It'll just release it where it needs to be released. Yeah, I agree. I think that extra quarter inch would be just the right amount of ease to let it fall naturally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But otherwise, I think it looks great. Can you see here this last So I think. <laughs> Your husband said, I think the south side looks more formal. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you wanted to make it form fitting, then you might have to add like a dart or a seam. And I don't think that you want to do that, no, right? No. If it bothers you, the Japanese, um, yeah, more relaxed. Yeah, I think that's, yeah. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. cool. <laughs> She's ready. This <laughs> person ready to party. <laughs> so just going to remind you of time. We're at 3.20, and I think everybody wants to ask the designer some questions. Yes, so we're going to um, put the denim jacket on just for a quick uh, show. Okay, great. Uh, we'll do our fitting notes after the session, but just to show you the denim jacket on, and then we can do a Q&A with Jasmine. I like this jacket. Yeah, I love it's the jacket. Really nice. Yeah, that's really sharp. Um, 
you can have the, use the option with the jeans mm -hmm. and just or use the print. And we have buttons inside and outside for depending reversible with depends where you're going to use the jacket. What does it fit? <laughs> We'll do the fitting after they have questions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you've got options. Yeah. Nice. Amar loves the jacket, even yes. for men. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. I like it. Even men or women can use. Beautiful. You want to turn? Nice. Love that jacket. Yeah. Okay, so I think um, I think what we can do is if you're okay. Everyone has questions for you. <laughs> Let's see if they come back. So have your questions ready for Jasmina. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I do. Do this side. Maybe you can you can show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so we're here now. If you have questions for All right. Jasmine. Um, Beverly has her hand up with a question. Yes. Uh, yes. My question was, um, if a customer wanted a metal zipper instead of the buttons on that angle, is that change possible? The button in the in the in the desk. Huh? Sorry, I didn't, I didn't send. Are you asking yeah. on the dress, um, Beverly? Yes, yes. So, okay, go ahead, I'll let you. Yeah, the, the buttons are just the decorative, you know? Uh -huh. Just the decorative purpose. They are not, um, you, you cannot open or close the, the, the dress with the buttons, just for decoration. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but we'll, we'll take it, like I said, I was still thinking, uh, maybe I will take it, so we will take yeah. yeah. But if, let's just say, if a customer loved that whole outfit, but just ask you, instead of a seam, could you maybe do, to could you put in a zipper? Is, is that possible at all? I think it will be possible, but again, it has to do with production, you know? You know, yeah, just, yeah. but it's beautiful though. It's beautiful. I, I, I really love it. Yeah, so I don't think she's set up to do custom. Yeah. Okay, Thanks. but you're doing great, girl. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. I have a question. Can I go ahead? Yes, she set yeah, up. Everything looks so we'll good. Go to Ngozi's question. Okay, congratulations, Jasmina. Thank you very much. The collection is fabulous. Thank I'd you. like to ask you, what was your inspiration for this collection? <laughs> yes, like a, like a, I said before, on, on the for that they asked that we need to make sure that the. Can you hear? I can hear you. Yeah, yeah speak. See if you could get closer to the mic. It's a little hard to hear you. Because I think because of the. Yes. One of the requirements when we're doing the, the collections that we need to uh, design with the, making sure that the fabrics that we're going to use is easily found in Pakistan. So while I was uh, doing the research, the market research and shaking uh, manufacturing and the fabrics and everything, I came across and say, okay, why not do something to do with Pakistan as well? So I researched a bit more on the culture of the country. And uh, then I, 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 I found uh, it's, up north, if I'm not mistaken, North Pakistan, they have the, the Kashmir, uh, Kashmir area, which is close to India. And they are, they are very good at uh, 
embroidery and they have different motifs, and, uh, mainly the parsley motif for, 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 for the cashmere. So that came the inspiration. But at the same time, I said, okay, I want to, to have some fab, um, a, a product that you can use different ways, you know, many times with the with New York with the such small foreheads, you know, instead of you having two jackets, you can have just one jacket with two different you can use for two different purposes. You can have the jeans to use during the day and at night you can turn and use the printed fabric, for example, for the dress is the same thing. I want people to to buy the things and be able to wear it in different ways, you know? Yeah. To sustainable side. So that's why we also came the idea with the to do the, the dress in a way that we can use both sides. Yeah. So the inspiration came from that. Thank you, Jasmine. Yeah. Practical but unique things. Yeah, thank you. We're proud of you. Thank you very much, Polly. Okay, bye. Thank you. We got your award waiting for you. <laughs> Everything looks so beautiful. Thank Keep it you. up. You're thank in the right direction. Thank you. So Ngozi had a question of, was it ready to wear or custom? And we were just clarifying that the collection is a ready to wear collection, already designed and produced. Mm -hmm. okay. Like we were talking with Amar, we'll see how this color uh, pattern goes. And if, if it goes really well, we might, we might do with different other colors as well. So, but for the beginning, we'll see how things go. So you're thinking already to, to maybe recolor it for the next season? Yes, yeah. Okay. All right. Great. Any other questions? Now, Misty, I was thinking that uh, when you first make the clothing, it's like I don't, I didn't really understood that the the factory, like you sent it to a factory to like reproduce. I didn't understood that part. So yes, yeah, so now you have a better understanding. Yes. Okay. Great. So we have a question here. So Jasmina, what was the biggest issue that you had to overcome in creating this collection? The, the That's biggest, a great question. The biggest issue was, uh, I think more than in the swimming side, no, but more on the technical side, the tech pack, creating the tech pack, the, the design, you know, the measurements of the, of the, of the, of the, the products, the clothing, and uh, what was good, I, I was able to use a lot of the, and knowledge that I gained from Cosmo Collaborative with Ben and also with the uh, with the Mara Ofma uh, apprenticeship, in terms of uh, I was doing some draping, <laughs> draping on the uh, on my model, so I could just try to find the size, right size to okay to put on the technical pack, so that so they were the tech pack. Yes, and yeah. creating the measurements and getting all that yeah. together. That was the most difficult, you know. <laughs> and my husband was a good help. He helped me a lot in holding things and measuring so <laughs> yeah it was the most difficult part yeah so on the flip side of that what what comes easiest for you as a designer i think is easiest is um sometimes i think the designer you have so much things in your mind you know you want to do so much things you know i want to put that i want to put this pocket this side and there and some things are not really possible to for you to put it from from the technical from the pack side from the design to life you know not everything that you want you can achieve that's what i that, that that's no. what i I, I, I mean that's a really important part for a designer to do you got to edit your collection right yes so yeah. we come up with 50 different styles and we know we want to create a 10 to 12 piece collection yeah. so you have to do more cutting away than you do keeping mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And actually, just to point out, the, the jumpsuit that we have is a is when I had the graduation for uh, Cosmo Collaborative, my graduation was also on a jumpsuit. So this is very similar to what I I did for my graduation, the jumpsuit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. So I have a question. What inspired your collection? Excuse me. What inspired you for your collection? Like what um what inspiration were you looking at or what did um inspire you to go that route for your collection? Like I said, I, I like things uh, unique, simple, but at the same time that make a statement, you know. I want things that you can look and you remember 
what's that, but sometimes it's, you see, oh, it's so simple, but again, the person that is wearing is so chic, you know, simple, but chic. Always looking at the uh, clothes that way, you know, I like this way, the, the clothing this way. So that's what mainly the inspiration to make sure that I, I, I do things, like I said before, I was looking in terms of the sustainability, in terms of the of the sizings, places, the the how how small we have the closets here in, in New York, and like I said, instead of having two jackets in the in the closet, I can just have one jacket with the with two functions. So <laughs> always looking in terms of practicability, but at the same time, uh, things that are simple and unique. One last question for you, Jasmina. So, what size range will your collection come in? Uh, it's going to be uh, small, medium, and and large. Okay, great. Yeah, but so, again, like like uh, we are talking with Amar, the small, medium, large. We as design, we decide what is our small and what is right. our medium and what is our large. You know, so, right, right. <laughs> so that is the thing. Yeah, you're gonna have to distinguish what's your small. Yeah, like who's your customer and what is their body type. Yes. All right. Um, one more question before we go. Beverly has her hand up. Um, yes, I just wanted to know it's in there about the price. What the price? Yes. We are still looking at it, you know. Uh, it, the price will depend also, like um, Misty was saying, on the who is our customer, you know? Who, who are we selling to, you know? What okay. we and we want to make sure, like we're talking with the Ngonzi and the Mar the other day. Um, yes. Installation is going is, is opening the door for many for more, more other um, customer collaborative uh, graduates, you know. And we want to make sure we we, we price the the, the clothes and the just in the right price, you know, in the right price. Okay, I'll see you on the runway. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Jasmina. This is great. Thanks, thanks a lot for Any last um, parting words you want to have? You know, Misty, I was following. First of all, I want to say congratulations to my sister Jasmina mm -hmm. on a beautiful collection. Mm -hmm. And I also learned a lot uh, because the, the when we graduated and we were talking about collection, I was kind of dumbfounded because I didn't know exactly which way to go. So I find these sessions to be very helpful in terms of knowledge as well. So I don't really have a question, but I have an idea because it's such a beautiful presentation. And I would like to know if we could have a repeat, not of the demonstration, but on a question session to clarify certain things for those of us who are working on, on presenting a collection. Okay, all right. We'll definitely keep that in mind. Yes. So, yes. Congratulations again. Beautiful. And Isabel, we must say thank you so much. You, uh, I believe, yes, said you well. Well, so I will say congratulations. congratulations. Yes, you were with well. Thank you so much. Like I told her, she's the official customer collaborative model. <laughs> <laughs> I I agree. Say I'm very inspired. I'm sorry. I wanted to say that for a little bit. I'm very inspired. Um, you've given me a whole lot of confidence to like do my own collection. Just All right. That. I'd like to say just like um, how we wrap up at the end of a fashion show and we bring the designer on and everybody gives the applause. Thank Jasmine and great, great presentation. <laughs> wow. Congratulations, Jasmine. You're doing us proud, Yay! doing us proud. Congratulations. Yay. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Stacey, for the camera. <laughs> Great job, y'all. Yes, job. bravo, bravo. Uh, please join us next week for um, our next GDA and Custom Collaborative Workshop at New York Embroidery Studio. So we'll see you all soon. Anthony, uh, you did you did a wonderful job also. <laughs> you you had your little thing working there. Thank <laughs> you. I appreciate it. Yes. I don't know how I forget to mention you, Anthony. It's because <laughs> I'm the ancient too. So <laughs> I apologize for not mentioning you. That doesn't mean you're not important. <laughs> you also important. So thank you. You did a marvelous job. Of course, my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, great.
All right. See you, ladies, at next workshop Wednesday, next Wednesday. In okay. And invite your friends. Yes. Tell a friend, invite a friend. Okay. And thank cool. God for custom collaborators. <laughs> thank you. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Right, bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye. Great presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead and read everything because it all happened.